uh, Graham Pavelitz. I'm working in the University of Tübingen in southern Germany uh, in the second department of internal medicine, which is actually the hematology oncology department, although my interest is not focused on hematological diseases, in fact, but on aging and the effect that aging has, the impact, that negative impacts that aging has on immune function, particularly in the context of anti-tumor immunity, which nowadays is uh, something that is amenable to treatments with immunomodulatory antibodies, with vaccines, with adoptive immunotherapies. Uh, these new developments over the last decade have really um, resulted in breakthroughs in the treatment of solid tumors like melanoma and the only hematological tumors that are really responsive are those that are essentially solid tumors like lymphomas, whereas uh, leukemias do not appear to be so susceptible. So we have two challenges. One, immunotherapy developments that could be transferable to hematological tumors. And two, whether these immune-based therapies will uh, work as well in elderly people as they do in younger people. Because we know that uh, older people have retained immune function often for many, many years until they're 70, 80 or so. The memory for previously encountered pathogens is retained for a long time, but the ability to respond to new challenges such as a newly arising tumor may well be compromised in older people due to age-associated changes in the immune system. And so this is something which could be of um, increasing importance as the number of therapies that are successful in treating cancer is extended into the older group because older people are generally not included specifically in clinical trials. So much of the information we have on treatments of um, humans in clinical trials are younger patients. And the mouse models, animal models, usually mice, do tend to be um, done in, in, in younger animals. So our knowledge about uh, cancer immunity and how to modulate this to the benefit of the patient and to cure the cancer is quite limited in, in older individuals, be they animal models or humans. And so it's extremely important to gather more data about the way that the human immune system can deal at advanced age with, um, with new, newly occurring cancers. Mm -hmm.